Let's talk about my May sales of 2016. <laughs> so this past month, I sold more items than I've sold so far in my brief, short, yet exciting FBA career. So the most I had sold before May in one month was in January of this year when I sold 226 items, mostly books. And that was an awesome month. I was actually surprised by how many sales I made, but that is one of the two biggest months. So it's not surprising now when I look back on it. But this past month of May, I made 246 individual sales. Now, some of those, or a larger percentage of those were CDs because I sent in a bunch of CDs in May and I already had some in stock as well. The recent lot of CDs that I sent in had a lot of quick sellers. A lot of CDs were ranked under 10,000 and many ranked under 2,000. A lot of those CDs sold really fast within a few days or a week or two of hitting the warehouse. So that helped boost my overall sales. If I had not found that CD lot and I had just kept sourcing as normal, I definitely would not have had as many sales. I think I still would have had around 200, but I didn't actually count just how many I had in May, but it was definitely, it was at around 40, I would think. So yeah, I would probably be around 200 sales without that CD bulk lot. Some of those CD sales were from, were from different sources, but nonetheless, that helped boost up my, my overall sales. So I still sold a lot of books, which is great. And I grossed over $3,000 for the month of May. So that was also really great. So I sold the most items in May that I, more than I've ever sold. And it was the second highest gross sales of my FBA career. The, the number one being in January when I sold over $4,000 of product. So the difference being that in January, my average sale price or ASP was $19.53. Whereas in May, my ASP was $12 and around 50 cents. So it was significantly less by about $7. And that's because of the CDs. A lot of those CDs were quick selling, less profitable CDs. And a few, some of the books too, were quick selling, uh, less profitable books. But now that I've, I've been focusing back on books, my ASP will likely go up. And also in back to school months, because I'll sell more books, my ASP will be bigger or higher because first of all, it's books, but second of all, it's, it's school related books. And a lot of those books have higher sales prices in general. My average, my ASP should be higher going forward because I'm sourcing a lot more books. And once, once August hits, it'll be back to school. So I'll, most of the items that I'll sell will be books and they'll be school related. So I'm predicting that August will be my biggest sales month and the, the, the biggest grossing month. And then into September, September should be great as well. All of that is to say that, that books for me sell on average a, a, lot, a lot more money than CDs do. Although I've been selling some great CDs lately. Uh, to bring that to bring that ASP up for CDs, but nonetheless, books are my bread and butter, and I love books, and they're a really fast to process. I'm gonna always send in CDs, and I'll keep my eye on any CD bulk buys, but books are gonna be my main focus because this is gonna be the biggest time of the year for selling books starting in late July, but definitely August, and September, and then December and January again for back to school. So those four months, August, September, December, and January are gonna be huge for books. And if you're new to the fourth quarter for selling books, books do sell in December as well. It's great to have a lot of books sent in and inventory because they will sell during the Christmas. You don't, during Christmas, you don't just have to sell or have toys or other random stuff that you think or that people will buy for Christmas presents. So May was great. It was super exciting to sell that much and to see a lot of sales. The previous month, April, I did 155 sales and I averaged about five sales a day. And then in May, I averaged eight sales a day. Now we're into June and my sales have been pretty strong. They started out stronger than the first about week to, eight or nine days and they kind of slowed down a little bit. I've been reading on some of the Facebook pages about this new Amazon repricer and that might have something to do with it. So I'm not certain yet about that. If you guys have any opinions about it, let me know. If you've seen sales slow down a bit, I'm still getting sales, 
but it seems like it slowed down a tad bit based upon my first week of June and May. And you know, I'm sending in at least one shipment a week, but but trying to do two a week. I've seen a little bit of a slowdown of the last few days, three or four days. So it's not, it's not horrible. It's not like it stopped completely, <laughs> but I've noticed a slowdown a bit. That also might have to do with me selling a lot of those CDs last month that I sent in really quickly. And, and so as I sell out the really fast selling CDs, then, then the sales numbers slow down, but we'll see. It's exciting also to see, you look on your Amazon reports, business reports, and look at the what you did for the month, it'll compare it to the same month last year. So in May of this year, 246 sales, and in May of 2000, 15, I only did 29. That was a combination of a lot of things, not having that much inventory, not being, not sending in stuff that would potentially sell as well, i.e. faster for profit that I send in now, just kind of being a newbie to it, having only been into it for really for that year. I mean, 2014, I hardly sent in anything. So by May, I hadn't sent in that much. But by August, I did, I did well because I worked hard during the summer to send in as much as I could. So it's just, it's crazy to go from 29 sales and a year later do 246. That has me excited about May of 2017, where I'm thinking that I can double what I did this year. We're looking at close to around 500 sales. And I don't see why I couldn't double that if I can double my inventory, or hopefully even more than double the sales. But even if I got 500 sales in a year, that would be awesome because May is not necessarily a super busy Amazon sales month. It's just your typical steady sales. You've sent in books that are that are just selling like crazy and you have a lot of copies or that's what you have access to. It's a different story. But nonetheless, I thought I would just share with you guys my numbers. Hopefully you're looking back on May to see how you did and, and any, adjustments, any adjustments you can make. You got to kind of look back at the month, previous month and Hopefully say, yeah, that was great. Celebrate it a little bit. Uh, if it wasn't as good as you wanted, figure out how you can change it and do it better the next month. I'm hoping for June to be already over 60 sales for June. So I'm on my way to hopefully beating the 246. We'll see. I got another shipment I'm working on right now. I just, I dropped another shipment on, today is Sunday. I'm making this on Sunday. I dropped a shipment on Friday late afternoon and I'm already up to about 20 books right now for my next shipment. And then I should have another one after that. So let's keep up those shipments, keep sending stuff in. I'd love to have over 3,000 items in stock inventory when I when August hits. That would be great. I know I said I was trying to do 200 a week, but it's looking more like 100, 100 plus a week is what I'm able to do realistically. So I'll keep working on that. And as always, remember, keep booking.